Hey, what's up? This is Dom, and today on iOS Advice, we are going to go over adding your Gmail contacts to your iPhone. And this process will completely sync your Gmail contacts with the phone app here and add them into your contacts. So as you can see, I have zero contacts right now, but we're going to change that by syncing it with a Gmail account and adding a bunch of contacts in here. It's a pretty easy process and it also gives you push email for your Gmail account. So let's go ahead and set it up. What you wanna do first here is go into the settings app and then you wanna scroll down to mail contacts and calendars. Now you may or may not already have emails in here, but regardless of that, you wanna go ahead and tap on add new account now normally you'd wanna tap on Gmail here, but since we wanna sync contacts, we want to actually add an exchange account. So you tap on exchange here, and in these fields, we are going to type in the required information. So for the email address, you're gonna type in your email address for your Gmail account. Then you're gonna go ahead and type in your password and a description that it will show in the mail app and in the settings app. So. Just go ahead and type in, we're gonna leave it as exchange. And I'm gonna type in the password and then we're gonna hit next. So now that we have the password, the email address, and a description typed in, we tap on next here. It'll verify for a second and it'll take us to another screen and ask us for a little more information. So now you will have a few different fields and the only ones you really need to worry about are username and server. So for the username, you can just go ahead and copy this right here, select all and copy, and you can paste it down here, or you can just type it in again. Really, you just wanna make sure that you get your email address into that field right there. Now for server, you want to type in m.google.com, just like that, m.google.com. And then you're gonna go ahead and tap on next once you have those two things entered. Now you'll see all these nice little check marks that came down the side. And here you get to decide what you'd like to sync. You can sync mail, contacts, and calendars. Well, for the purpose of this tutorial, we are just going to choose contacts. And as you can see here, we have just that selected. Like I said, you can select either of the other two options as well. It really depends on what you want to sync. If you do choose to sync mail like this, it will give you push for your Gmail account. So that means you'll receive messages as soon as they arrive within your Gmail account instead of it refreshing incrementally like it normally does. So we're gonna leave that off and then we can tap on save in the top corner here. Once the account has been added, it'll be added to our list here. And there it is, exchange. We're gonna go ahead and just back out of the settings app. So now when we go into our phone app here, we should see a big list of synced contacts. So as you can see here in our phone app, we have now synced all these contacts over from Gmail. They've all came over successfully and these contacts are completely synced now with your Google account. So if you update them in one place, they will change in another. It's a great feature and it's good to have, especially if you keep a lot of your contact information in Google or if you came from an Android device where you would normally sync your contacts with Google. You also see that we have groups now where we can choose our exchange group right here. And this will sync over all of the information in the Gmail contact, such as the picture that you have set, the phone number, the email address. So it'll get all of that over there for you. And it's pretty nifty. Thanks again, everyone for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. My name is Dom and have a great day.